Hi there and uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Rishabh and I'm really grateful for having you here. I hope you're enjoying watching the Python verse uh, series. So we are uh, we are here at video number four and the topic is typecasting in Python. So what exactly is typecasting? Uh, typecasting in, in simplistic terms it means converting uh, the data type of a variable which means uh, so for example let's say I have a variable which is of type integer and I want to convert it uh, into a float or I want to convert it into a string that is called typecasting it is a very powerful feature and it is a very useful feature because uh, a lot of times we have to typecast our data for one reason or the other so uh, so let's try to understand uh, this typecasting concept by building a program to calculate the sum of first n natural numbers where n is given as the input by the user so i think all of us might have solved this question some point in our life wherein we have to calculate the sum of first n natural numbers and there is a well defined formula for this which is n into n plus 1 by 2 so this is the derived formula which we are going to use let me just create uh, a file for this so sum of first n dot py right let me write a comment uh, calculate and return the sum of first n natural numbers n is given by user as an input cool so one of the very first things which we need to do in this program is we need to ask the user for the input right so let's do that let's say n equals input please enter value of n and then we can do a slash n that is we can move to the next line now we've got the n let's do something before i write anything else let me just show you the type of n because we have already discussed about uh, this type it basically tells us that what exactly is the type of this input which we have received from the user also even though i'm not in the same directory where my script is my script is inside of this directory that is video 4 but what i can try to do is python video 4 i can provide the path of the script so it is inside of python 4 then sum of first n dot py right now if i hit enter it says please enter value of n uh, if i enter something like let's say 5 oh, oh so sorry i have to print this it won't be enough even though in the interpreter it can basically print it but here i have to explicitly say that print cool let me run it once again so python video 4 and sum of first and dot py i hit enter now if i say that n is 6 let's say and you can see that it is a string right what that means is that before i can perform any operation on this like if i uh, if I perform operations uh, like integer operations on string then there can be errors so what we have to do here is we have to first convert it into its uh, like integer type only then we can perform any operation on that right so python provides us some more functions in this context uh, so for example if I go here you can see that uh, I have str function if i want con to convert something to a string then i have a float function if i want to convert a value or a variable to a float similarly i have int function if i want to convert a variable to an integer value and similarly i have a bool if i want to convert something to a boolean right now let's go ahead and try that on our n so let me just go to this so instead of printing the type of n let me let's let's just do that that n equals okay let me make it slightly easier m equals uh, int n right so now i'm creating a new variable m 
where I am going to store the integer version of n right now if I do print type of m now you can see that the type of m should be integer because we have converted n to integer and that is what has given us m right cool uh, let me just execute this program quickly and if I hit enter it says uh, value of n I enter 78 and you can see class str and class int for this m right now there is one more thing which I would like to tell you I really don't need to have this as a separate variable I can perform this operation on n and I can store it as well in n now I really wanted to focus on this point we are converting the string uh, variable n to an integer variable n uh, the interesting part is that both are stored by the interpreter and we are not changing the variable name and this is again uh, going back to one of the features of python that is it uh, that is it is dynamically typed language meaning we don't have to provide uh, the type so it is automatically interpreted by the interpreter right so our n becomes an integer now now we can perform operation on it so perform operation on n now let's have another variable where we are going to store the result so i have named it as a result result equals so the formula was n uh, times n n plus one and i believe all of you remember the board mass rules so just following those so this is n uh, times n plus 1 divided by 2 and as you would know that result is going to be a floating point number uh, if we have to convert it into an integer value then we can again but before that let me just quickly try to print a result only right so here we go uh, let me clear the screen then python then video so sorry I wrote yep python video 4 and then let me just write some of first n.py hit enter so let's write 3 hit enter so class str is uh, printed for this n which is fine and then we are having 6 so 6 is uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 plus 1 both the same so it is giving us 6 now what if I want to print result as an integer well as you have seen above I can simply say result is equal to int result and it gives me the result as an integer then I can print result I don't need to print this I'll just delete it for now so I do a command as go back uh, execute the script hit enter so let's say I want to get the sum of first let's say four natural numbers hit enter I get 10 so which is let's check as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is equal to 10 right now let's say just one more run if I give it as 5 and we get 15 so our program is working fine wherein we just provide n as an input and then our program basically calculates uh, the sum of natural numbers till n and in uh, like the concept which we wanted to learn was typecasting so whenever the user is providing the input via keyboard uh, we are getting it in the string format we saw that um, by printing the type of the variable then we are explicitly converting it into an integer so always remember whenever you are writing programs wherein you have to read some input uh, from let's say that the user input which is coming from the keyboard and uh, you always have to typecast that to the required type so for example if you were processing floats let's say if users were allowed to so in this case we were only asking for a natural number but in case uh, you were doing something where floats are required then you may have to typecast to floats as well let me actually go ahead and show you some examples by invoking my python interpreter so int function we already saw so let's say if i pass 2.3 to the end i will get 2 because it basically type casts now 2 3 2.3 in float so the integral part will be taken so it's 2 right 
now if i do a float on 2 i get 2.0 2.0 because float always has a decimal point right going back to my intro slide i i really wanted to show you like uh, trying a uh, trying to type cast okay it should be cast trying to type cast a wrong input that is interesting so what happens if you try to type cast a wrong string first of all let's type cast the right string it gives you the correct answer but what if you try to type cast something like uh, python for example cool you see that uh, value error is there it says invalid at literal for int with base 10 python which means that this literal that is python it's a literal so what are literals literals are the values which are uh, which are which you provide to the variables right the very uh, so the values which are stored inside of variables they are called as literals so it says that invalid literal for this int function uh, with base 10 python is an invalid literal because python cannot be converted by this function to an integer that's why it's wrong right now there is one more thing which i wanted to highlight here what happens if you try to convert a boolean value to integer value this is interesting uh, why because booleans are treated differently than strings right if i do a int of true as you can see i will get a one right similarly if i try to do an int of false i get a zero and it applies to floats as well if i do a float true it gives me 1.0 now let's look at the behavior of pools as well what do we get if we do pool one we get a true now what happens if we get a pools if we do a pool zero we get a false let's expand this to some negative number as well let's see what we get and we get true so only for zero so zero becomes your falsy value uh, for all other values we get a true right and let me just do this as well if i do a pool of a string abc i get a true now when do i get false when i'm doing a pool operation or a pool type cast on an empty string then i'm getting a false right so it is very important to keep these things in mind because when we start writing complex uh, uh, operations like or the or the complex statements then it becomes very important to understand these very basic things because they really help you to build your programs in a smart way so yep i think um, that's it so introduction to errors so, uh, oh yes we should probably note this down so we learned about this error it's called as value error cool so there are different types of errors we will talk in detail about what are, what are the different errors in python how you can create custom errors and so on but right now i just wanted to give you a taste of uh, how exactly errors can look like so you are not scared if you see something like this you just have to read what exactly is the cause of the problem what exactly is causing this trouble and then we can easily troubleshoot that that specific uh, root cause right cool uh, i hope you enjoyed this video on typecasting in python and uh, I, I really hope to see you in the upcoming videos. Thanks a lot and bye-bye. Uh,